voted one in. What was that? Um, oh. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> everybody and welcome back to another vlog. I am Alexia Nicole and I am living my life by design. Don't mind. That's Fawn's messy bed. Don't tell her I showed y'all. She's gone um, taking care of some family business. Um, but anyways, I am on reserve this week. My reserve block started today. Four day reserve and I got called. So I just hopped out of the shower. I have on a towel. Um, I'm actually, I was kind of prepared because I wanted to go to work. I really don't like sitting around on my reserve days in New York because for 10 hours out of the day, I'm kind of just tied to being two hours away from the airport, like can't really do much. So I really prefer to go to work. Um, one, because I just don't like sitting here. Um, that means because I usually end up spending money that I don't need to spend. And two... I make more money if I go to work. So yes, we get paid for reserve days. In Mint, we get paid five hours a day for our reserve days. Um, in Core, it's a little different. Y'all can go back and watch one of my old vlogs when I was in Core and see how that works. But as far as Mint, so for four days of reserve, I get paid 20 hours. That's with or without being used. If I actually go to work, um, I get paid eight hours a day regardless of the flight time. So, 4 times 8 is 32 hours. So, it's an additional 12 hours that I'll get on my pay. So, yeah, I'm excited about going to work. There was another trip on the board that I really wanted. It was a number one position four day. Um, and with the number one position, you get an additional $4 hourly. Um, but I didn't get that trip because somebody was ahead of me on the reserve schedule. So, I got this other four day um, position number two. Which is fine. I don't get the additional hourly, but I do get the, the credit hour. So it's all good. It still works out to um, benefit me. And I'm working with a gentleman that I met um, randomly. His name is Ronald. I'll show y'all him on the vlog if he wants to be in the vlog. Um, I met him maybe like a month ago, three weeks ago or so. Just randomly. I was going to the, um, what's the thing called? I was going to the cleaners. And he was in there. He was like, oh my gosh, I was just watching one of your vlogs or something like that. And I was like, oh, how random, you know? And we actually ended up chit-chatting for about an hour. And so now today I actually get to work with him. So that's really cool. And I think I'm going to be the queen of the crew again. I looked at um, the crew and it's all guys. And y'all know I love trips with all guys because I like to be the queen. Anyways, let me stop running my mouth because I do want to catch um, an earlier shuttle to get to the airport to do some things. And yeah, anyways, see y'all later. Well, guys, it's dark outside, so y'all can't really see me. But I'm headed to the shuttle stop. Um, it's really rainy and drizzly and nasty out here. Shuttle driver just gonna hit me. Anyways, talk to y'all when I get to the airport. Sleepy, y'all. I do not do. Talking to the vlog. Say hey. Let's run. <laughs> it is 12:55 LA time, 3:55 AM New York time. It's been an amazing flight, but I'm ready to get off this airplane. It's, it's been a now. long flight. It just feels Very long. long. And when it's only five hours and ten minutes, but it just feels long. It felt longer than five. But I said my watch. Like a, it felt like a real international flight. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing some real international things, y'all. I just think it's because everybody's sleeping and, you know, when we don't have nothing to do. We're twiddling our thumbs, talking about power. I have the, um... I what? cannot wait to watch it tonight. I didn't get a chance to see it. So I told her, please do not tell me any details about it. I don't want to hear about it. Nothing about power. <laughs> I was talking to the guy um, about Serena last night. No, I did not go to the game. Um, but the president of the tennis T 
TV network or whatever, he's on our flight. So we were having a very in-depth conversation about his take on what went down last night at Arthur Ashe Stadium where Serena lost to 20-year-old Naomi Osaka. Congrats to Naomi, but I'm a little bitter. Anyways, <laughs> but we're about to, he just did an announcement for initial descent. So we're going to clean this up, wrap it up, go to bed. Talk to y'all later. <laughs> and me, I always have energy as soon as we get off the plane. But wait till we get in this bed. I am about to crash. Luckily, our hotel is only like 10 minutes down the street. So yippee. And then that's the first officer and the captain. We're all headed to the same place today. Short stay hotel. Yay. Oh. Made it. Made it to the hotel. I wore the dress today, y'all. See the little little flap dressing. I never wear this dress. Um flight was easy peasy. Not much to tell. Nothing exciting really happened. An uneventful flight is always a good flight. <laughs> that's what they that's what they taught us in training. I think I learned that in training. I learned that very, very, very early on in my flight attendant's career that uneventful flights are always the best flights. Anyways, I'm going to bed. It is 2 a.m. in LA, 5 a.m. in New York, which honestly, I can feel my body starting to wake up. That's why I need to just go to bed. So, good night. Three, two, kind of depends on your age currently. How old are you? 30. 30, okay. So, let's say 30 years. And then long term. Good morning, good people. We are up and ready to go to the gym. Got my sweet sweat band on here. All right, it is 9, 11 a.m. I'm still really sleepy. Yeah, still really sleepy. I've been up since like 7.30. I had a phone call that I had to take that lasted like an hour, but it's good getting my financial life together. I hired a financial advisor, so did that this morning, so that's good. Um, Y'all, I mean, this job, I love it, I really do, but it definitely took a hit on my financial life, just going from making a certain amount of money to making extremely less the first half of the year, six, seven months or whatever, of being a flight attendant. So now that I'm kind of getting back to a higher income, or not, not not as high as it was before, but more money. I'm just like, you know what? Let me just, let me get some solid advice on what to do with my money and how to manage it. So, yep, there's that. Um, so yeah, anyways, about to go to the gym. Got my water, see y'all later. So I'm finally getting out of the room later than I really should be. Our report is at 7.59. And it's now 4.47. Usually this would be my nap time, especially for a red eye. But um, Ronald wants to go out to Manhattan Beach. So I said I would go with him. So I'm going to go. <laughs> Y'all, I love my sleep so much. And it's not even just about the sleep. It's just like I know how I am if I'm not rested very well, especially on a red eye. So I'm kind of like, mm, about this. So maybe we'll just bounce out for a quick second and come back so I can potentially still get um, at least an hour nap. We'll see. Because we have a, a day over in Fort Lauderdale tomorrow. Um, we're scheduled to land at 4.50 a.m. and then our report time is at the airport for 4.12. It's not even a full 12 hours. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'm just waiting for him to come on mosey on down here so we can go before I go back upstairs and go to bed. <laughs> oh, that happens. I'm going to have just a regular... How big is the char burger? How big is the patty? Is it like... It's little? Are any of them big? No? The same size. Okay. So you can do the double? 
Carver Morning Patty with Roasted Garlic Iola Sayoli Sauce. Um, yeah, let me do a double char. Um, can I do the lettuce wrap? You want cheese on the burger? I want everything added. Cheese, no, no bacon, avocado, and mushrooms, please. Yummy bunless burger, lettuce wrap, tomato, mushroom, avocado, love cheese. That's good. You want to say hi, Ryan? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got food <laughs> So, we decided not to do the beach. Um, we just didn't have enough time. And I already rush as it is when I'm like on time. So, I didn't want to be pressing it. We would have only had like 30 minutes out there and so <laughs> we just walked down the street to a little hamburger joint. It was cute. It was good. Now I'm back and I have a little time to relax and then go to work. Alrighty. Oh, this bag is heavy. It's time to go. <sighs> I'm trying to have a good attitude about this red eye flight to Fort Lauderdale. Um, it's a red eye though, so other than the fact that I'm going to want to go to sleep with them. <laughs> it's going to be good. It's going to be, it's going to be good. Got to put it out there, right? Positive energy. Four days. Why do I really need all these bags for four days? Jeez. It's honestly an arm workout. I'm just dragging these heavy bags. Well, there's the lunch kit. And then there's a roller board with all of my clothes enough clothes for three nights plus workout clothes um and then my tote bag that has like my work items and a few other things but it's just heavy that's all so as expected red eye flight to fort lauderdale beyond needy customers but we're still smiling we're still smiling right you don't want to be in my vlog time now I cannot stand for a lot of old people. They're savages. I'm just saying. <laughs> I've already told y'all about for a lot of them. Anyways, he doesn't want to be in the vlog. No. Anyways, new book, y'all. It's called um, Children of Blood and Bone. If y'all have read it, let me know. Anyways, um, we're about to let the pilots out for their break. So let me go. So we have about one more hour to go. It's 3.50 a.m. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> I'm really, really sleepy. But um, on the shut-eye flights, we do the little to-go baggy things. Now, I, can't, I don't know if I showed y'all that. So I'm going to just show y'all those and then um, go to the hotel and rest and then do it again. So the bags are already um, already started. So there's a juice in here, water, and a cookie. And then the bagels just finished warming up. So I'm gonna wrap those in the foil and put them in all the bags, and then give them a, and then give them to all of our wonderful customers. I totally forgot, guys. Alexia is amazing, by the way. I forgot to come back up and put the bagels in, but that's why she's here to help me. <laughs> hey guys, I just want to introduce you all to someone. This guy right here, this is Aaron. He's a weirdo. He actually eats with gloves on. Can you believe that? He uses the gloves to eat his food for whatever reason. I don't know why, but he does. Everybody has their quirks. We don't judge. True. So is it? <laughs> is it? I don't think that's with the sanitary with the gloves on. It's okay. I don't think so. It's rubber gloves. The gloves on. Food here for the gloves. True. That's right. You're right. I forgot. <laughs> Don't, don't add that part of <laughs> so we're tired we get to this hotel that we've never stayed at before and all of our rooms the beds are not made the what this strip is gotta isolate here it's bad 
because I'm not sleeping in this room. Right, like we're not, we, have to, we call pre services once we get actual rooms so they can read us our room. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. You think the staff is sleeping in all night? Yeah, yeah. I, think it's, I think they stay overnight sometimes and then the staff sleep. So the other one's like nothing else is dirty? Yeah. yeah. Well, one of my beds is naked and I'm not sleeping in it. So. I, 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 I don't, I don't understand. trust none of this. I just want a whole nother hotel. Take me to the embassy, get me a breakfast That's in the morning. Yeah. yeah, this is bull. Yeah. I can, I am just, I just, I, I hate this, y'all. Like, literally like somebody just hopped out of bed, didn't even put effort. I'm irritated, y'all. I'm, I'm very irritated, but I know a bad attitude don't get nothing fixed. So I gotta go downstairs and be fake happy. Like I'm not tired. Oh wait. And try not to give the man downstairs an attitude, but I bet you it was him. I bet you it was him all laid up in my bed though. No. probably the security. Okay, so this is the plan guys. We're gonna go positive attitudes. Not cuss the man out, it's not him. No, we're not gonna we're not gonna curse the gentleman out. She was going after him, like letting him have it. Yeah, but the airline that's yeah. near and dear to my heart, they're gonna learn about this because this mm. is not okay. This is bad. This is I've never seen anything like this in my life. And like, then you want, and then they want me to sign something that's I wonder what right? I just signed now. But I, you know? I don't have faith in any room now. I'm mean, maybe I'm scared. I don't wanna stay here. How all, all four I won't be able right. to sleep. Rooms. That's mm -mm. some <laughs> I'm scared. So it's six AM. And we are calling our scheduling team people to get us a different hotel. We got assigned different rooms and they're still dirty. And I'm tired, y'all. So tired. And we're already at like short rest. We, I think we had 11 hours originally, 11 and a little, a few minutes originally here. And now we're probably going to be down to like nine hours rest. <sighs> Lord be with me. I'll give y'all an update. <laughs> Poor Darnell stress. This is ridiculous. This should never happen in a hotel. Out of all my, my um, career flying as a flight attendant, I've never experienced anything like this. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. I don't care how much you apologize. Why are these beds not made up? You know what I was saying? He goes, oh, but yours, yours shows that it's clean. Meaning the other ones show that they're, they're not they're, clean. I, I see what you, I knew where you were, where you were going with it. And no, no, yes. <laughs> they're dirty. <laughs> these rooms are dirty. They're not made. We're on the short stay. We need a new hotel. What'd he say? He uh, just put you on hold. You better find a hotel. Okay, so we're trying it again. We got a different hotel. The hotel that didn't work out was nice enough to shuttle us over here. It's kind of funny. Oh, that's my water. That's okay. Thank you, sir. Um, oh, he just, he's stressed. No, I'm just messing with him. Good morning. We're still away. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a family breakfast, waiting for our rooms to be assigned here. Um, we're keeping good spirits up, guys. This is a part of, you know, <laughs> flight attendant life. But don't don't expect this on a regular basis. But things happen. Um, and so whatever airline that's near and dear to your heart, hopefully they take care of it for you. <laughs> Shade. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> shade real. Oh my um, God. But yeah, so I'm gonna have some eggs, a little potatoes. I'm gonna cheat because I deserve it. I'm stressed. <laughs> Did they say that's the Just worst quiz. Just, time to eat? I know, right? Yeah. Anyways, y'all, nice. I'll see y'all when I wake up again. Like, or maybe I'll update y'all to see if um. Our report, like, like, our flight gets delayed because, was going it. Lord, I just, I can't, I don't know if I can function on minimum rest. I don't know. I've never functioned on minimum rest like that before, so we'll see. <laughs> so, I'm still irritated. It's now, what time is it? 7.04 a.m. Just, it's 
me. <clears throat> Just got off the phone with crew services and they're not changing our report time because basically we're just reduced to minimum rest nine hours and 33 minutes worth of rest after a red eye <clears throat> um so yeah i'm just gonna go to sleep these you know there's some things i just there's some things that i tend not to really talk about on my vlogs just because some things you just have to figure out when you get into this career but um because i'm irritated right now Where's my? Let me, let me be quiet in the hallway. I don't want to wake people up. So what I was saying is one thing that I don't normally talk about a lot or like um, in depth about our work rules and things that I agree with and things that I don't agree with. Um, and if you know or you don't know, um, some airlines have unions, some don't, um, and it's per like work group. So pilots, flight attendants, gate agents, like they all have to vote in the union. My airline, that's near and dear to my heart, not so near and dear right now, but it is what it is. Um, flight attendants, we just voted in a union. So we still don't have a contract. We're very, very far away. Like, I mean, when I say we just voted one in... What was that? Um, oh. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> like, no, for real. Yeah, yeah. No, someone's ice thing. They didn't clean this for us. Oh my god. They forgot. Uh uh. We fatigued. Oh, they forgot their ice pack. Wait. Did she. What room did At least she get out of? No, not this no, one. She came on that side. And my phone is dead. Can you guys take pictures of this? <laughs> <laughs> it's all his fault. He told you to clean your room up. It's not my fault. I'm we're, we're, let's, Okay, honestly. let's just call out fatigue on this one. I just then. can't. Well, just, now you're going to have to recall. Yeah. I'm in three, two, one, and this room is actually. Can you believe dirty. this? Can, can you literally believe this? Well, now the time restarts until you get to the room. <laughs> we might as well have a sleepover. You know, can, <laughs> can you guys call schedule? Because my phone is dead. You might as well wait till you get your new room. Yeah, let's just wait until you get it. But they need to know what's going on, though. We're gonna get your new room and say we just have the same issue. I can't. I just honestly can't. You should call your friend Johnny Ma. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we really <laughs> might as well just have a slumber party. Shit. I'm. And a clean up pull out beds. This is if not like. I'm work. not a functional Alexia. I, at no, this, at like, these this hours. Like, this is not real. Right? You have two beds or one? One. No, I, I think. I don't even know if I got it in there for. I just laid down on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. Did like, you hear me when I was like, uh uh? I heard you. That's yes. why I walked back out of my room. You were loud as shit? I was like, what? I'm all the way down there. I heard you, but I just thought it was y'all. Uh, I was like, she's like, I'm in my room. I don't care about y'all. I, I, I didn't even look at my bed, honestly. I just, uh, did, I just laid down I just on the couch. I opened the door halfway. And I was like, no way. <laughs> Chipotle. What's up with Chipotle? It's right there. Somebody trash. <laughs> they, they, this room didn't, I mean, it wasn't I think clean. It wasn't cleaned at all. No, no. Just I mean, they, they, they yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, it was just, just left yeah, out. they were probably yeah. had a short stay just like us, slept yeah. and left. Mm -hmm. I'm still cute though. <laughs> <laughs> a few hours later. Oh. Oh, but to my point, I keep sidetracking. When you're looking for an airline, you might want to consider who has a union, who does not have a union. I don't know how much you, how, how can you really, you can't really find out much about an airline's contract before you get hired, right? Like, are they? Well, it's not technically public. Public, yeah, sure. right. But if you know someone who works there. Yeah. yeah. Join the flight attendant connection. Yeah, a flight attendant career connection. 
That's you know, thing. just there's there's things that you just should definitely look into before no. before <laughs> <laughs> before you um just decide on the airline because the uniforms are cute or because they fly everywhere you think you want to go or whatever the case because things happen that do not always seem fair. Go to spirit. She's blonde in your shading. Well, I like bumblebee. So if I was judging a uh, airline on uniform, I would pick it spirit because yellow is my color. <laughs> Orange, don't go with me right now. Like, look at this. I don't think any. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. But it's good to look into y'all. Good morning, or good later on in the day. It is two sixteen p.m. I'm tired. <laughs> um, so just to update y'all, I think I like finally laid it down like around seven fifty, eight AM this morning and we called um our scheduling crew services spoke with a duty lead and they told us to just get some rest and see how we feel when we wake up and it's time to get ready for work and I still feel like crap. My body is physically exhausted. I'm mentally exhausted after everything last night, so I called them back just a few minutes ago and um, let them know that I can't work the pairing today. I just, I don't like, I ain't got it in me. Usually, you know, most days I can, I can push through. I normally can, but I'm just, I'm, I can't. You know, I don't want to have, I don't, I don't want to do no half-ass customer service. <laughs> you know, like, I just... It takes a lot. It takes a lot mentally to work these flights and to be going up and down, back and forth, transcon, you know, three hours here. It just... It takes a lot to do a four-day pairing, transcon, six six-hour flights. It's, it's, it's a lot on you. So, anyways... Um, we have this thing called when you um you call out fatigue, which basically means that you know you're fatigued. You're literally fatigued, and you can't work your pairing. So, um, I just did that. I'm not really sure what the rest of my crew is gonna do, but I let them know, so I won't be on the flight with them. Um, crew services is gonna update me in a little bit of what um the rest of my footprint for this trip will look like. Um, but basically that just means I get. A few more hours they have to give me. They have to give me minimum rest here. Um, out of base. Which is 10 hours I think. So I'm going to go back to sleep now. <laughs> I just wanted to update y'all of what was going on. So talk later. Alright. Hey guys. So it is. Hi. It is 11pm. I slept so good. So let me update y'all about the day because I kind of went on about my day and forgot to vlog. Well, I didn't really forget to vlog, but the vlog is probably just all over the place with everything that's happened this trip. But I think the last thing I told y'all is that um, called crew services, called in fatigued. Um, so they removed me from the trip for the day. Um, I let the rest of my crew know and they also called in fatigued. They didn't have to, you know. But, I mean, a crew is a crew, and, you know, you kind of want to stick together as a crew. Um, but it's not necessary, so it's really up to you. If one person calls in fatigue, that's okay. They just get removed from the trip, and they'll replace it with a reserve, whoever is on reserve. Um, but the rest of them were just as tired as I was. You know, two of them, like, we could probably work, but, you know, it just wouldn't be up to our best abilities. So they made the decisions themselves, the other three, my guys that I'm working with, my kings, my my princes, <laughs> they went ahead and called in um, fatigued as well. Um, so I slept, I slept, and I slept, and I slept. Um, then I woke up. Originally today I had plans 
for what my real layover was supposed to be from 5 a.m. this morning to basically 3.30 today is what I, the original layover was supposed to be. I had um, scheduled a haircut and nail appointment and all kind of stuff today. So when I woke up, I decided to like reschedule that stuff. So I went and got a haircut. I got my nails done. I'm going to New Orleans um, for the On The Run Tour concert. Yes, I'm going to the concert again. Do not judge me. <laughs> but, um... So I checked when I woke up, crew services updated our schedule. So today, they could have, basically when you call in fatigue, when I go back upstairs to my room, I'll read what, exactly what it says in our flight attendant manual to you. But when you call in fatigue, that means that they have to give you 10 hours of rest. So from the time that I called, and I think I called around 2.30, that means they have to give me 10 hours of rest. So that would be until 12.30. So they could have made me work my parent tomorrow. They could have still done that and deadheaded me to LAX. But all they did was they took me off of the the, um, the leg today. And now tomorrow morning, we're all just deadheading from Fort Lauderdale back to JFK. And then we're done. So, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't have mind working at all. Like, if we would have still had to go to LAX and work somehow, some way, that would have been fine. But there's no flights that leave. Um, Fort Lauderdale to get to LAX that would have had us there um, early enough to work our original flight because I think there's only like two or three flights a day out of Fort Lauderdale to LAX and none of them leave that late because we had to have that mandatory 10 hours of rest so I just went and after I got my rest and I mean I was still still really tired like I got my eyebrows done I fell asleep on the eyebrow table I was getting a haircut I fell asleep in the, the barber chair like I was just tired I'm, I'm still really tired so that's what happens I mean you know a little bit of me to be honest a little bit of me and a lot of me half of me let's just go with half of me half of me felt bad for calling in fatigue because you know, like, you just want to do your job. Like, I like my job, and I hope y'all know that. Like, I enjoy my job. But at the end of the day, you have to take care of yourself. And I was exhausted. Can I push through physically? Physical exhaustion? I can, I can push through. I do it all the time. But this time around, I was just mentally exhausted, you know? Um, the, the trip last night, the flight last night wasn't really that bad. It was, just felt long, you know, and I had a few customers on there that was trying my soul. So I had to, you know, just deal with that mentally and then to get off the flight, have to wait for the shuttle and then get to the hotel and then it, it be what it was, you know, not sleepable. You know, it just, it exhausts you out. So as some of y'all know, it's Suicide Awareness Month. And I know one of um, a flight attendant vlogger did a video on this like a week ago. There were two flight attendants that have taken their lives in the past week, week and a half, two weeks. Um, itching. And it just, you know, it just brings it to the forefront that this career can be very rewarding. And it can also be very mentally, um, I don't know the right word, but it, it, it can be hard because especially in the beginning because at the end of the day you spend so much time alone you spend a lot of time alone a lot of time alone as you know as much as it looks like I'm always with somebody you have your customers on your layovers you're not with your family or you're commuting or you're on reserve and you're sitting in your your crash pad for how many ever hours of the day so I just made the decision for myself that I said, you know what, Alexa, you really could push through this day physically, be tired, and, and still do what you need to do. But one, I truly care about giving great customer service. And I just knew from my mentality last night till still being exhausted today that I wouldn't have done what I like to provide. And I never, ever, 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 ever want to half ass do anything. And then I also said, I said, you know, and then just on a mental level of just being exhausted, you know, you still have to go to work, especially in customer, especially in customer service, you still have to go to work and put on a smile for these people. You know, they don't ask, I'm not going to say none of them ask how your day is going, but at the end of the day, 
They just don't really care how your day is going. You know, they want to get from point A to point B and they expect you to do that with a smile and happy. And you know, that can be very draining to have to put on a front about something that's just not really what's going on. So at the end of the day, I made a decision to take care of myself before trying to take care of a plane of 159 passengers. Because I, I was honestly mentally just mentally tired to the point where you want your flight attendants to be responsive quickly, you know? And I just, the I, my brain was moving slow and I didn't feel like it was going to get any better throughout the day. You know, God forbid we had any medical emergencies any type of emergencies you know I wouldn't have been up to my best and that's not good for the company the customers or myself so you have to make those hard decisions sometimes um, I mean we don't get penalized for calling in fatigue there's other things that we do get penalized for but that's definitely not one of them we just have to um, you can just put it right there for me thank you hun. Um, we just have to basically file a report and say you know this is what happened for me to, to feel fatigued to the point that I called out of work. So, yeah, I just wanted to kind of give y'all that update. Um, just show y'all a different side of the flight attendant world that y'all don't necessarily see a lot on my vlogs. Because I just choose not to talk about it. Like, I like to be positive, but I also like to be real. You know, I don't ever want y'all to think that this job is all cookies and cream because it's not it's not it's not it's not it's not and that's all i'm gonna say about that um but you make decisions you know i made a decision for this to be my new lifestyle and i, I knew what it would be but um that doesn't change the fact that i still love my job there's are there things that i would love to be different absolutely a absolutely um no no airline is perfect you know as they say the grass is not always greener on the other side um so like I was kind of touching on last night, just when you're in the process of looking for airlines and trying to figure out which one fits you best, um, I would definitely research the company deep, you know, see if, see if they have a union, see, try to find out as much about their contract as you can, you know, the, those, those things will make or break, you know, how you feel about your airline for sure. Anyways, y'all, I'm about to um, snack on this food and go to bed. I'll see y'all in the morning. All right, good morning. It is 4.49 a.m. It doesn't really feel that early anymore. I feel like it's about 7. Right, I was about to say No, I didn't go to sleep. Well, I went to sleep at midnight. What time did y'all go? 12.30. <laughs> we got back at 2.30. Yeah, we got back at 1.30, 2 o'clock. They went in and had some fun last night. Just a little bit. <laughs> Anyways, it was a good trip. We're about to just hop on the deadhead. Bittersweet that we didn't get to do our two other, well, I don't know how bitter it is, but it's not bitter at all. <laughs> Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. Different take this time, not the normal. But um, it was, it was different. Um, so make sure you subscribe, like, and